Hello and welcome back to Crusader Kings 3, the Viking Raider. In the last episode we did some mercenary work around here in the Balkans again and uh, we did manage to secure ourselves a wife. So at the very least we are hoping for children. Uh, I want to make sure our, our brother here Olaf gets a wife as well. Uh, not not you. Not you, you're not, you're not of a... Uh, you're no longer capable of bearing children, which is not of any use for me. Uh, a bunch of contract stuff we can't deal with there. We're going to finish our little spat over here, and we are going to keep looking for opportunities to grab any territory that is weak. Anything weak enough that we can just snatch. Because life as a mercenary band is not easy. Life as a lord isn't easy either, but it's a lot easier. If you have a constant supply of money. Um, so yeah, we're suffering on prestige, that's fine. Oh, we won that. Destroy them, destroy them. Yeah, crushed. Nice. Uh, we should be able to crush these guys. We can if we can get those guys to help out. We could just stroll on by. Can we just... wonder. So... They're in debt. We have the better commander and more command traits. They have more troops, more men at arm counters, and higher quality. They have a higher quality? I swear, I guess overall they have a higher quality. Uh, they have horse archers? Yes, they have horse archers. Oh, God. I hate the tooltips. I mean, I love this tooltips on this one. But, yeah, as soon as I've moved over here, they're... They break a little bit. There we go. Okay, so they've got siege weapons. Horse archers. What can count as horse archers? So horse archers have mounted men at arms, equipped with range weapons. Uh, cavalry archer. Ca archer cavalry is unique. They generally count a heavy infantry and are in turn counted by archers. Oh, yeah, so we're mainly heavy infantry, skirmishers, and heavy cavalry. We don't have any archers. Hmm. So we should meet up with the main force here. And then we're going to attach ourselves to the larger post. There we go. Now if we meet these guys, so we'll we'll, be, we'll beat them. This is war again. Oh, sorry. We're, we're helping the uh, the chieftain here against the king of Serbia. Uh, have we captured anybody important? Oh, we've got five prisoners. Okay, here we go. Oh, we have captured the princess of Serbia. We should hold on to her. Uh, you are going to be worth 100 to her. Okay, so she's only got 48 gold. Okay. You aren't worth anything to anybody. Do you have any good skills? Oh, you are 16. Uh, you have some. some out of it. There we go. Uh, stewardship is poor. Not bad traits. Not bad traits. Can I recruit you instead? Negotiate your release and recruit. And this is a good way of actually getting people to join us, you know. Can I recruit you? Yeah, I can recruit you. Oh, I can recruit the princess's son. I don't, don't need to demand your conversion. A weak hook would be a good idea. 
Uh, you are on the verge of death, why? Because you're in the dungeon. Oh, you're a physician? And an aspiring blade master. We gained some stress, that's fine. Oh no, we just gained stress if we just let them out without any recourse. Okay, no, I'll just recruit you, because physician... Physician? It's a weird word. And aspiring blade master. Alongside ambitious, callous, and vengeful. Pretty good, but he's, yeah, his stats are really good as well. Yes, we're definitely having you. Uh, what about you? Oh, I've already did that. I already did that. That's fine. We'll, we'll, we'll let them figure out that first. There we go. So we have recruited you. Oh, are you the daughter? On your betrothed to this, but break the betrothal. Yes. We shall break this betrothal. And then we shall marry you to Olaf. And then Olaf is in the same line as this king here. So she has... She has a claim. Is the important thing there. She has a claim. Nice. We have secured a wife. For Olaf. Uh, we're still going to recruit you, I think. You're already considering a proposal, that's fine. You... Oh, you're the you're the father-in-law for Olaf. Um, we can ransom you. Yeah, we're going to hold off and ransom you. Yes, yeah, so you're the brother-in-law. And she'll be the, the mother-in-law. Okay. That has grown our camp. This is one way we can grow our camp. Why have I not been doing this earlier? We don't need volunteers. We need to conscript people. That's the way you do it. Especially considering we don't have a massive amount of um, issue with them losing or winning a war. Clients, I mean. Uh, the rain has urged most of my followers to seek refuge under the same oak. Slavax adorantly Oh, whatever. In the middle of the crowd, that bastard, that absolute useless fool. Uh, you cannot see that he is incapable of governing his own camp. How are we ex to expect him to govern anything bigger than a puddle? just mean uh, I don't know how to like me you don't have provisions that's not gonna work fate of the Northmen traders raiders mercenaries our Norse ancestors have long traveled from Scandinavia all throughout Europe and even beyond leaving their mark everywhere they went now it appears that this age may be coming to an end as our motherland is fractured by cultural differences and clan rivalries into Danish, Swedish and Norwegian identities. Ah, so we got culture. Oh yeah, they've split. So there's still some Norse. But we're still Norse. There's now Norwegian, Swedish and Danish. And they're all the same. Okay. So that stops the Viking stuff? Well, that's part of our dynasty, isn't it? Is this one as well? This one is as well. Yep, there it is. So we've got two, fa two of our family members, our dynasty members, rather, on a uh, throne. Wait, why is the house head a captain of the Golden Kings? 
Wouldn't that be the king of Sweden? Yeah, wouldn't he be head of the house? That seems weird if he's not. Might not have appeared. Hmm. A pregnant. Yes. Succession is secure. Oh, get stuck in. They're right there. What if we, what if we force their hand here? There we go. Yeah, sometimes the AI needs a little nudge. Okay, how does that not win the war? Right, attach the main host again. I assume because they still have the capital, that's why. The mutiny? Captain Ivar, what an honour to be in your company this very night. Slavak greets me, uh, greets me as I come closer to the bonfire. He is the only one still drinking around it. I beg of you, he points at a trunk across from him and waits until I am seated to continue. It's not a good look, is it? The whole camp seems angry at you. And maybe there's a reason for that, with the food running running low. You never know. It would be a shame if somebody seized the moment. Ooh. I'm not distributing gold, no, no. Oh, but then he leaves. Two people leave. Oh, that's a new one. Yeah, do you know what? I'm going to distribute some gold here. Okay, so I, I found a problem with the conscription idea I had earlier. If they don't like you, it can cause issues. Uh, physician. Yeah, see, like, he... He really does not like us. Inflexible worshipper. Forcibly recruited. That wears off. But let's be fine. Let's be fine. Oh, AI is doing its weird dance. It's this weird thing where it wants to avoid something. Um, loot and plunder. Loot and plunder. Seems the most reasonable. Uh, we should go to the camp here. Uh, okay, we can't do anything really for now. It's behind. Oh, we can re help reclaim an artifact. Okay, I set this guy up to win this war, but he's just not doing a very good job of it. A new heir! Are we going to have Uber, Uber, Uber? <laughs> Probably not a great idea. Germanos. Ivar. I'm not even going to bother. Yeah, Germanos. Go with that one. Germanos, Ivar, son. Uber. Oh wait, no, it wasn't you that was Uber, it was your father. That was Uber Uber. Okay, there you go, you've won the war. Victory has been achieved. Apparently they did something over here I wasn't watching. There we go. Uh, you've owned every coin. Oh, gold. That's not bad. That's not bad. Uh, let's gather some provisions. I should cheer everybody up then. There we go. See, now they've got nothing to complain about. Pay the ransom. Oh. I think that's a good amount of gold. What war are you fighting? Oh, you're on the verge of death, it seems. Hmm. 
but you're attacking with overwhelming troops. This is your attack in the Carnate of the Caspian Steppe, and you are the High Chieftain of Don Valley. Where is this? Oh, it's all over here. Okay, yeah, we can get involved in this lot. What sort of troops do these guys have? My mercenaries. Should tell you how many troops. There we go. Uh, light footmen, light horsemen, horse archers, and bowmen. And then levies. And then, oh dear god. What are these? They're like slightly better archers. These are Arabian heavy infantry. Horse archers, horse archers, pikemen. Yeah, he has overwhelming force as it is. So uh, yeah, we'll we'll join in. We'll join in, especially for seventy-one gold plus extra. Uh, pay the ransom. No, you can offer me a hundred. So we're going to wait for that. We're going to hold on to our assets here. We're going to... We're definitely going to let you go first because you're older. We don't want you dying. So if we ransom you first... Yeah, you want to try and get 200 gold out of these guys. Might take a little while, but... It's an investment. We, we like to invest in people, you see. They don't usually agree to being invested in. But we're investing in them. <gasps> oh. oh, that's a point. Um, I can't do that when we're at sea. It's fine. Kingdom of Vladimir. Pretty sure we're related to whoever owned that before. Okay. There's their force. Where's ours? They seem to be down here. I assume we're fighting a separate war. Can we beat these guys? That is. No. Um. I assume it's mainly because we just disembarked, plus the fact that there's so many, so many more of them, so many more. Yeah, more of them, and their horse archers, which kind of counters everything we have. We don't have anything to counter horse archers. Our infantry do count, do counter cavalry, if I remember correctly. Yeah, they counter heavy cavalry and spearmen. It'd be nice if we could have some more. Uh, do have some champions at least. And we're looking to get some more out of this one. More um, conscripts. That we're going to have to like persuade to our side. Uh, the Emperor over here. Who we've had dealings with before, is still in power. Uh, obviously doesn't quite like us, but does like the fact that we switch back to his war at some point. Um, what are you fighting now? So the Duchy of a... Uh, right here. Okay, you're drastically losing that. We're not getting involved in that mess. Yeah, there's some big empires forming over here. So you've got the Byzantine Empire, the Shabadid Empire, and the Canem Borno Empire. They're all different religions. This one is Unreformed Husan Abori. And this is a Muslim one, and then this is the Orthodox. Well, a, a different form of Orthodox. 
And we've got Taurin over here, the Carganate. The Carganates are quite terrifying because they can get absolutely massive very quickly. So we can get involved in some big conflicts over here, and then it seems over here we're getting involved in a lot of little, littler conflicts. So this is this is forming bigger empires, and then this side over here is fracturing, which is as a mercenary. Both sides of that is good for business. Uh, I definitely prefer the smaller conflicts because you know, we don't get crushed as much. Let's make our way back down here. Has he got mercenaries? No, they're not mercenaries, no. We're mercenaries. It's a little uh, helmet on the flag that tells you they're mercenaries. Yeah, see, there's a little flag, helmet on the flag there, they're mercenaries. Uh... Okay, okay. I'm going to meet up with this force here. There we go. Okay, they win that fight, that's fine. We get our boys over there, and we can get involved. Betrothed can marry, sweet. Cool. We gain some prestige out of that. Well, our brother does. So he has married into the line with the King of Serbia. Or a previous king of Serbia at the very least, giving her a claim, a pressed claim on that. If her mother dies, who we have imprisoned, she gets another claim on the duchy and the kingdom of Serbia. Ah. So. Wait, what's left of Serbia? <laughs> um. Yeah, there's... Serbia's in here. Honest. Not anymore. Well, it used to be here. That's the thing. So if we look at the kingdom stuff, it is this bit here. It used to be here. It's, it's not here anymore. So that's fine. That means we have, uh, we have claims that we can use. We can get involved in that stuff now. So would that work actually? So too far away to interact with, of course. We're all the way over here. We'll have to deal with that after the war. That's something we can look into though. Hmm. Oh wait. So that's, that's this one. Oh, I have to have the press claim. Wait. Yeah, I must have the press claim on the kingdom title. Okay. So this whole thing is working towards trying to get the title. Right. Hmm. Okay. That's fine. It's still something we can use. Maybe not for that particular feature. Where is the territory here? There. What's the problem with these? Oh no, the territory is there. Do we hold it? So it's occupied by... This guy, who's on our side, it's hard to tell who's who's who. Oh, we will probably lose that fight. Oh, oh god, yeah, there's only 4,000 of them. Are they allied or? Oh, we're about to find out. They're not allied, okay. We are outnumbered and they do have horsemen. Yeah, the horsemen give them such an advantage. 
Oh no, no. It's close. Okay, okay really? I realise just sitting there watching this go down. Well, it wasn't an outright loss. I mean, we lost it, but it wasn't an outright loss. Uh, I've heard of your disputes with that contemporous contempt ogre. Uh, this guy, the most contemptible excuse for a man. Uh, given our mutual interest, I am sure we will get along well, friend. Okay, so you're messaging me. And we can maybe become friends. Where are you? That's the thing, like, where are you currently? Okay, you own this bit here. We are currently allied with you. I wonder if we can get some territory out of this. Uh, we would gain some stress, but we'd gain a friend. Friends are powerful things. Uh, we will endure, we're fine. We're good. Yeah, adopt your faith. Uh, founded by the apostles. The Armenian apost apostolic church rapidly grew followers in the region. Shepherded the kingdom of Armenia into becoming the first ever state to adopt Christianity as its official religion. Oh. Okay, we're learning some history. Uh, you are on the verge of death. Um, can't make a request of you. Okay, so not even not even like as a friend can we get a request. We have to do it as a patron. We have to have worked for them. Right, this bit's fine because we have participated in the war. I swear we were participated. We we definitely participated in a war. We lost troops. Does that not count? Does contributions only work if we win? Uh, let's go search. Oh, yeah, let's drink it. Small bell breaker. Beaker. Small bell beaker. We found a cup. I don't want it. It's a little bit of prestige. Every little helps. Every little helps. We are not going to get involved in this fight. Oh, the price that we got paid to show up. Yeah, we got paid to show up. Unfamiliar rations. Because we're traveler. Bend it with herbs. We're good. Uh, you earned every coin. Oh, we still got paid. Okay. That's good. Plague stuff going on over there. Right. So, we have you imprisoned. Can we just, like... Yes, we can't declare a war. Hmm. It seems weird, like, we, we have the... Yeah, we have the landowner and the heir imprisoned. Feels like we should be able to like enforce our demands very quickly, but we can't just declare war, which is really weird. It's very weird. Um, what about you? We can declare war if we had five hundred prestige. It's our biggest thing at the minute. Plus, having enough troops to take out anybody strong enough. Because we want to be involved in the Empire. We want to be involved in the administrative stuff. We want to be seen as a noble family. Preferably. Uh, we can offer military assistance. In the Holy War? He will accept that. Uh, yeah, he's losing both of these wars. So, let's see. That's the Holy War. Which is losing. Uh, the 
War for the claim on the empire. He is also losing. Oh, wow. Yeah, we want to be on this guy's side. We want him to be our patron. Can we offer you assistance? He would accept. Um... Hmm. It's a shame you're not hiring us. I mean, this should make him our patron, right? He is paying for us. Yeah, we're going to offer him military assistance. And it's accepted. There's our army. There's our army. Well, let's pay some gold. Uh, under a tribal government. Oh, the county is under a tribal government. Right, okay. So if we walk our way into Byzantine uh, territory, oh, not there, not there either. There we go. Let's go, let's go for a route that doesn't have so much attrition on, on our already small force. Who are these guys? Okay, they're involved for other reasons. We are helping the guy who has the claim on the empire. Okay, right now they're in empire territory we are going to nope we cannot do that let's nope can't do that oh, there either hang on let's do it here we have to do it in the very least neutral territory can't do it that's fine um why are you at war let's have a look so you why are these guys hostile is it because they're involved in this one? Oh, so I'm very confused why this particular principality is involved. Right, because they're taking on... Okay, right. They're taking on one of the smaller vassals. That's fine. Okay. It's very confusing, but it's fine. Uh, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.